Hello students in our previous video we learned about male reproductive system today let us learn about structure and function of female reproductive system just like the male system the female reproductive system also consists of primary sex organs and secondary sex organs ovaries are the primary sex organs in females while all other organs like fallopian tube uterus vagina etc are the examples of secondary sex organs in female we call that primary sex organs are those organs which are responsible for production of male and female gametes and secretion of hormones while all secondary sex organs are those organs which are responsible for maturation and conduction of gametes and also help in nurturing the developing offspring in females the main function of ovary is to produce eggs that is ova for the reproduction and the other secondary sex organs facilitate the reproductive process of the female on the same lines primary sex organs of females that is ovaries produce ova and hormones estrogen and progesterone while secondary sex organs helps in the transport and development of ova and other reproductive processes so let us see ovaries ovaries are the pair of almond shaped organ located in the lower part of abdominal cavity near the kidneys in female ovaries as we told you are the female gonads which produce female gametes eggs or ova and also secrete sex hormones estrogen and progesterone students can you make a difference in males there is only one sex hormone testosterone while in females there are two sex hormones estrogen and progesterone complicated right yes indeed female reproductive system and female reproductive process is little complicated compared to males students observe this internal structure of ovary this is a section of ovary from inside it contains many different structures within one organ but don't worry you don't have to worry about all of them just observe this one structure it is called as follicle this one follicle contains one ova and many other supporting cells If you observe this diagram carefully you will find that ova or egg is in many different developmental stages so ova from its production to the development stays or attains maturity inside the ovary matured ova comes out of the ovary in a structure called as fallopian tubes fallopian tubes are paired originating from uterus on either side the terminal part of fallopian tube is a funnel shaped with finger like projections called fimbriae this fimbriae lie near the ovary and pick up the ovum released from the ovary and push it further towards the fallopian tube finally from fallopian tube matured ova or egg enters the uterus uterus is a pear shaped muscular organ it is hollow in structure and present in the pelvic cavity of females it lies between urinary bladder and rectum uterus plays very important role in fertilization and development of fetus which occurs inside the uterus and for this purpose the wall of uterus is made thick It consists of three layers of tissue the external thin membrane called perimetrium the middle thick layer of smooth muscle called myometrium and the inner glandular layer called as endometrium that lines the uterine cavity this endometrial wall is very important since implantation of a fetus or growing baby sticks to this wall of the uterus 
the endometrium undergoes the cyclical changes during menstrual cycle that is it gets thin and thick alternately while the myometrium exhibits strong contraction during delivery of the baby and can you reason me out why simple students myometrium is made up of lot of muscles so when they contract the uterus also contracts and this helps in delivery of the baby the narrower part of the uterus is called cervix which leads into vagina the uterus narrow down into hollow muscular tube called vagina it connects cervix and external genitalia in females this vagina receives the sperms during coitus or sexual intercourse and acts as a birth canal during childbirth well this birth canal includes other organs also the canal formed by the cervix vagina and external genitalia through which the fetus passes during the birth comprises the birth canal so now students let us see the structure of female gamete that is ova the matured ova singularly called as ovum the matured ovum or egg is microscopic just like human sperm it is spherical in shape and almost yolk free so students pause the video take a break and try to find out what is yolk and why is human ova free of yolk students yolk is a nutritious fluid present inside the egg which provides it nutrition just like seminal fluid provided nutrition to sperm yolk provides nutrition to ova not only to ova yolk also provides nutrition to the developing embryo students In humans embryo gets nourishment from mother's body directly through umbilical cord so there is no need of yolk inside the egg in humans and thus they are almost without the yolk but students can you think of any one animal or any one egg which is full of yolk i guess you could answer it students very simply the egg that we eat yes the eggs that we consume are rich in yolk to be very specific the yellow colored fluid that we see or that we consume in egg is nothing but a yolk so students in animals whose embryo do not get nourishment from mother's body directly there the embryo gets nourishment from the yolk along with the yolk each ovum contains abundant cytoplasm and single nucleus the ovum is surrounded by three membranes outside the plasma membrane additional to plasma membrane there is inner thin zona pellucida and outer thick corona radiata together form the structure of ova now students during sexual intercourse sperms which are ejaculated from males enter female vagina and swim through the vagina and reach the ova or egg present in female uterus the fertilization happens here and it forms the embryo so in our next video we will see the entire process of fertilization and development of embryo